how to make short hose. You remember the other day when you tripped me? The procedure has been done and he's really, really disoriented. Let's mess with him. Hey, what's up, buddy? Are you being short with me? We're gonna put ends on the hoses with two inch PVC couplings. There's this little rib. This right here is what you're gonna to wanna to end up with. This is maybe where you start. So you can do a rough cut right in between two ribs and then you're gonna recut it so that it's flat right along the top of the rib. All you're doing is popping the first rib, this one here, over the rim. Coming in at an angle and shove that thing in there. There it goes. All right. And it's short hose. Let's turn this little piece here into a hose. That's one end. There it is. The short hose. Now if I want to put an end on there, I can put two of the adapters and I have a little tiny short hose. Or maybe it's just one part of the system. As far as getting the thing off of there, I want to show you how easy it is with a screwdriver. Take your screwdriver and get behind it a little bit and it comes right off. And how hard it is to just pull that thing directly off the hose. You can get it off of there, but it doesn't come off of there so easy. And if you wanted to make this watertight, put a little bit of silicone around here, and you probably wouldn't be able to get that off of there without cutting it off. But wait, there's more. You can drill a two and one eighth inch hole in some quarter inch plywood. This is actually quarter inch import, so it's 5.2 millimeters. Then round over both sides of that hole, I use one of these tiny little roundover bits in my Dremel, and this will create a very similar mounting situation like the one we find in the PVC coupling. So just like the PVC coupling, wherever you've got that hole, you can take the cut into the hose, put it in the hole, and lock it in in between a couple of the ribs. So I'm gonna start off with the hose two ribs deep, and I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and just work the excess hose into the hole. You have to be careful not to shove too much at once because if you get a fold in the hose, it won't lock into this hole. And once you get it locked on there, it's a nice secure attachment. It's very similar to the connection with the coupling, so it's not gonna pull out of the hole very easily, but you can still pop it out of there pretty easy with a screwdriver. This is a manifold I made for my planer. I've got it hooked up to where I can hook one hose or potentially three. So hopefully this will give you some ideas on some ways you can take advantage of the cut pieces of hose. Something else that's been a big help for me was learning that I could directly connect the cut hoses to these cheap Chinese cyclone dust separators. You don't really have to do anything at all, but it helps a whole lot if you hit whichever port you're gonna connect the hose to with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm gonna use some 100 grit. And now you can take the cut into the hose Put it on the port as far as you can get it. Take one of these paint can lid removal tools and pop the last little bit over the port. And as soon as you get it popped over, you need to do the push and twist and push and twist that thing on there. And there you go. Something else is if you're gonna buy a hose kit, they have three different size hose kits you can get. There's a seven footer, a 13 footer, and a 20 footer. No matter what hose kit you get, you're gonna get some additional fittings. So you get one end of the hose that's got a fitting on it and then you've got another end that doesn't have one and you've got these three options to choose from. So these are the three options. Which one are you gonna choose? Well, one is all you're gonna be able to use because you can only put it on this factory end of the hose where the hose is actually a little bigger and you've only got one of these. So. Choose wisely. One of these fittings is a female fitting. So I suppose if you wanted to make one of your hose ends into a female end, there you go. 
I would suggest cutting this portion of the female part off. That'll create a coupling, which is really nice, very handy to have so you can connect two hoses together. Everyone needs one of these on their dust collection cart. And it's kind of free, comes in the kit. So that's what I would do with that one. Now you've got these two male fittings to choose from. They kind of look like they're exactly the same, sort of, with the exception of the clip. But if you look very carefully, you might be able to notice that the wall on the one without the clip is thicker, therefore the inside diameter is smaller. It kind of matters. Because if you weren't aware, all of these larger rigid fittings with the clip are a direct connection onto these separators. It's a nice, tight fit. All of the ones without are too small. They just, they really don't, they won't fit on there. Now you could modify it maybe and make it work, but you're only gonna be able to use one. So you may as well chuck that one, use this one and turn the female fitting into a coupling. There's two different hoses that come with the vacuum cleaners. You've got a big one and a small one. This end on the small hose is basically the same as this end on the bigger hose, with the exception that it adapts down to a smaller size. Because it adapts down to a smaller size, this smaller end of the hose can be mounted pretty easily by drilling a one and three quarter inch hole. Here's a example of that. Boom, back port really easily. This is a part of the same planer project. So that might be helpful. This end is the same situation, but with a two and a quarter inch hole. Same thing though, it's a very tight fit. And all you have to do is drill a hole. So that might be something else that you might be able to use. This is the larger hose. Again, this is the ones that come with the, the vacuum cleaners. You got one with the clip, that'll fit on the separator. You got one without, it won't. All of the larger hoses have some additional ribbing on the last few inches, which can be helpful. So before you cut your hoses up, you might want to consider where you want to put those factory ends because that extra flexibility can definitely help you out. 